I'm just giving you a small example of uh, three points, say, Let's calculate uh, covariance for height and weight. Everyone, do it manually and let me know. I want everyone to put your hands and do it. Let me know. The covariance formula I have already given you. What's the covariance formula? Do it and let me know. Kavi, even if it is between 0 to 1.5 in terms of covariance, still we can't make a statement that it's no relation. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Yep. So covariance is 100. Hey guys, are you forgetting the denominator? Ah, oh, no. Oh. Right. So, uh, how do you calculate it? Mean is 50. 40 minus 50 will be 10 into 50, mi 50 minus 50 will be 0. Sorry, 10 into 70 minus 10. Plus, I think the next minus and minus will come here. Both will can cancel. Another 10 into 10 divided by 3 minus 1. That will this will come to 100. Let's say I forgot uh, or I decided to change. So this weight was in kgs, right? I decided to calculate weights in grams. Let's say the same data points. I'm just changing the units. Weight in grams. Forty, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand, eighty thousand, and ninety thousand. Now calculate covariance. Tell me. Now calculate the covariance. Right, right. So it will be somewhere around that. Uh, you add a thousand here. The covariance will also have the thousand. Here. So it will be hundred and put another three zeros. One lakh. Right. So what is the difference? The data didn't change. Only the units changed here, but our covariance also changed drastically. But a relation between any two points should be consistent. Just because you change the units, it should not change, right? 
that is a problem with covariance it's not a standardized quantity so to standardize covariance what pearson did is like covariance uh, he did he he came up with a coefficient called correlation coefficient coefficient which is de denoted by covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x into sigma y a sigma denoted by standard deviations of x and standard divided by standard deviations of y or i can uh, just uh, remove this x symbol so that you get just multiplication dot now do correlation for both of them in both cases what is sigma x here 10 standard deviation if you calculate also you will get here also standard deviation is equal to 10 standard deviation here is equal to 10 again standard deviation here is equal to 10000 right so correlation correlation here will be 100 divided by 10 into 10 which makes it 1 again here also correlation is nothing but 1000 divided by 10 into 10000 this makes it 1 now correlation correlation cannot go beyond plus 1 and cannot go less than minus 1 covariance has unlimited bounds whereas correlation at the best at the best it can go to plus 1 at the worst it can go to minus 1 it always is between plus 1 to minus 1 that's it not beyond that you can experiment and see also it cannot go beyond plus 1 to plus 1 to Minus one, so it always lies between plus one to minus one. Now this answers many questions for you. So over the entire uh, regression chapter, I will be using this uh, tutorial. This is already uploaded in your course module. Uh, since the not there, let me know. I'll just show you. This is a very long tutorial, guys. Regression, very very long, in fact. Lot of things we have experimented and tried to show you. I'll show you in bits and pieces as as soon as the topic is covered, right? So how do we get a positive correlation? How to calculate positive correlation and how to calculate negative correlations? Uh, first of all, here we try to create the data, random seed from NumPy. Told we told your seed concept, initialize the data frame, and I made an X. With the random initialization, and then I made an y. Again, some random formula here. I've used it, and finally I created data x and y. Just wanted to show you how to do correlation. The code to calculate correlation is nothing but, uh, especially in pandas. Dot c o r r. Give x and give y, and you should be able to find out the correlation. So here, if you look at uh, x and y, they're positively correlated with around 0.93. We try to do the scatter also same plot. Uh, in general, when you go to uh, real life, uh, either you can calculate a correlation or just do a scatter plot between two variables, and you'll be able to see whether they are correlated or not. Correlations are very important when uh, we go forward for the regression problem to see whether they are opted or not. similarly negative correlation again for negative correlation there is no formula difference it's just that x dot c o r r pass y you should be able to find out so just try to show you how the negatively correlated variables are there minus 0.71 is what we are getting so this is data which we created instead of uh, going out and finding uh, real data we just try to create it and show you I'll also show you uh, in real how the data is. 
we correlation also we try to create the data and show you of course i think uh, we try to put the difference between pearsons and spearmans spearmans as uh, kavi was citing spearmans is generally used in case of uh, non normal distribution or let's say in normal distribution so pearsons is biased is what people say so for now you guys stick to pearsons pearsons co correlation coefficient till you reach a good advanced level where you understand correlation then you can experiment with the different correlations so we have a wine quality data set i think it was given already so we try to look at covariances sorry correlations in wine quality very weak correlation 0.02 that's what we get the mac plot is like this and you can also do spearmans also generally pearsons and spearmans are very close like very close most of the times 